What's up? It's David Francisco, and today I'm going to teach you my song Forever Baby. Warning, the contents of this video could be groovy. People say it's a food. I'll start you off with that first riff. This is the riff I started with before I had any lyrics, before I had anything else, I had this riff. So to start with this riff, it's in the key of E, it involves hammer-ons, some slides, uh, some nice little finger-picky stuff. Uh, you don't use a guitar pick, um, and warning, this is a little bit advanced. Um, I would say it's at least intermediate. So it starts on the fourth fret, and we're gonna bar an A chord, but two frets up from where it normally is, so the fourth fret, um, the D, G, and B string, so it's going to be... You bar that and then you hammer on in uh, this shape. It's kind of like a, a minor 7 chord, but without that mi minor uh, on the second string. So I just go thumb on the first string, and then I've got these three strings, uh, third, fourth, and fifth, as you go down. Um, that I, I just pluck and I make it kind of and the key is just to get that that vibe that groove um, is to really like either shake the guitar or like move your fingers or something that that's really gonna set this apart from just being like I'm kind of playing the notes of the song to I'm feeling the vibe of the song so strum it like that and then you hammer on to that shape uh, where you've got ring finger on the third string, sixth fret, and uh, middle finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. And you just slap it down on that second beat. So the second half of that is same thing, except it's quick, and then you go up uh, on the on the first shape and this whole time we're doing E which is kind of a cool feel because it just feels like it's droning on E but technically we're playing an A over E and then I just do this on the first one I do this little riff on the second string I just like the sound of it and you can get really staccato with it and play a lot of muted stuff so when I'm playing it, I go. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, on the second time around, you noticed I did a couple different things. I went. Instead of just doing, I went. which I just think is a fun riff. Another version that sometimes I'll do is... And it's all about putting that melody in the top note to give it a really characteristic personality. So, you can either do that. So I hammer on. That's a nice feel when you uh, hammer and then strum hammer. So, parts the same as the first one um, and then you've got um, the other option uh, is and all of those are on the upbeats kind of so so you go right here that's a pull off one more time so the whole thing all the way through so it's the first two stanzas are just that same thing I used a lot of muting as you could tell like little mm -hmm. 
It's just a good groove. Um, but once we get to that 20s are for fun. I walk it up, and this is again a John Mayer thing. You'll notice in a lot of my tutorials uh, where I use my thumb on that first string. And my right hand, FYI, is nothing but first string, third, fourth, fifth with these three fingers. So first string, third, fourth, fifth, um, for all of that. You can see it right there. Except when you have to go and hit a high note. So that's all of the second string, on or second fret, on the first, third, fourth, fifth. And I just walk it up with that same shape. Um, it's a minor seven shape, for those of you who are interested. We've only known each other for a year. All the same shape. Well, I've seen it so And that part, you walk it up, same shape, and then we go to a major shape. And then, and this is a five over four technically, um, which is, I guess in this case, a G, an A over B. Um, it's a very Motown chord that I use a lot. Um, so, da, 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 da. and then on the second half of that, I do a hammer on to make it feel like a, I don't even know, that's some kind of minor two over five, maybe? Which, if you think about it, the four and the minor two are pretty similar. That's why that works. Um, and that hammer on just feels nice. Oh wait, I missed it. So it pretty much just goes like that um, throughout the song. Verse, the, the pre-chorus is the only place you got different chords. And both pre-choruses are the same thing. And then you go to the chorus, which is just like the verse. So that about sums it up. It's a fun one to groove on. So without further ado, let me play the whole thing from the top. People say it's a foolish thing getting married when you're young. People say you should be water free And your twenties are for fun But we've only known each other For a year But I've never seen it so clear I'm not afraid to love you Forever baby I wanna spend Forever. 
One last note, by the way, on that ending, I end it on a minor four going to the one. So what I do is, I just wanna call you my father. I just wanna call you my father. Can I call? So all the same strings, and then, a classic major seven shape at the E, which is on the seventh to the ninth fret. And for those of you who don't know, it's a seven on the second string, ring finger, ninth fret, uh, third string, fourth string, eighth fret, middle finger, pinky on the uh, fifth string on the ninth fret. Thanks so much, guys, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. It's a foolish thing getting married when you're young.